Don't you dare mess with Amazon. I know that today you were expecting to see me dive into the computer and show you the crazy world of Alibaba. Uh, things have changed today and we are going to be talking about what happens when you need to contact Seller Central as an Amazon seller. Oh my God. Oh. For those of you who have seen a few of these videos, you know that when I had the uh, when I had my my second product, it came out. It was hit on the third day of it being on sale. It was hit to do a review, a hazmat review, because they deemed it dangerous. After seven days that I was without being able to sell my product, because when Amazon does a review, they can you know have your product delisted for two to four business days the key here is business days meaning that if they stop you or if they delist you on a Thursday that's Friday first business day Saturday and Sunday is not a business day so those don't count but they do count for you being without sales and then Monday would be the second business day Thursday and uh, I mean Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So those are basically six business day or six days that you will be physically without being able to sell your product. Okay, that's that's what happened to me the first time. I let it go. I was upset. I had already run PPC. I had run ads and everything to get my product ranking. And after three days, it was stopped. Boom, out of there. I had no say. Couldn't do anything. So what happened yesterday? Yesterday, I was checking out uh, keywords. I was doing my keyword research to see how I could optimize my product better. And I found a few nice keywords that were, uh, were uh, producing a lot. So I decided to go in and update my title. Quick note, only update your listing be your title your pictures or anything after leaving it at least a week or so of sales because if you do it every day you will never let the algorithm catch it and it won't basically work so you have to leave it and then let it propagate through Amazon then okay but that's for another day the thing is I did some research I found some nice keywords and I decided to change my title vary it a little bit just change a few things here and there so I did that normally when you do that in your uh, seller central account after 15 minutes you'll see those changes live well I went I checked nothing I checked nothing 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 I was like okay so let me call seller central because my 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 account was saying that I had changed it but it was not being shown on on amazon.com so I called lady really helpful I must say anytime I have called seller central and I have called them a few times they have been really helpful no issues whatsoever so yesterday I call her and the call started being the easiest call in the world she went and she checked my ASIN she said yes I see the problem let me fix it on my end and she did just that my product was up and updated in two minutes. Before I hung up, I asked her, why did this happen? Is, is there anything I should know about? And she told me, no, it was something with your ASIN was blocked or something like that. She's like, I don't understand, but I fixed it. You shouldn't have a problem. I said, okay, great. I left it at that. I kept on going. Yesterday was actually the first night that I was planning on going to bed early early meaning around 10 to 11 o'clock at night because all these last few nights for this whole week I've been going to bed around 3 in the morning because 
I'm developing a new product and developing a new product is not as easy as going on Alibaba, finding somebody and then just say, hey, give me a thousand of these and that's it. So I've been back and forth, back and forth with people and trying to get a hold of them and it's, it's like pulling teeth. So back to the story. I, I said today is the day that I finally get to sleep and I was checking as I normally do my uh, my listing to see at a certain time of the night where I was standing what happens then I don't see my product at all I check for something and a dog shows up on Amazon I was like are you serious what's going on I go on to my seller central and yep there are no Amazon FBA fee previews there if you sell on Amazon you know what I'm talking about there's nothing I was like what is going on so I call Amazon and that's when everything started the first person looked at it and she said yep what happened is your product has been delisted so it can be reviewed again I was like you have to be kidding me what do you mean review again it was already reviewed you know for a week almost one month ago they said no it's it's under review I said I I need to talk to a supervisor I Said a supervisor will call you back in half an hour so I hung up the phone I waited an hour later nothing so I called back I said what's going on no supervisor has called me I need to know what is going on with my product the guy takes a look at it and mind you all of this really nice these people know customer service they are awesome he goes yes it's under review because they are suspecting that it is and I can't tell you the exact word that they use but they said that it was a biological animal product what no it is not I mean I, I can't tell you what my product is because then everybody would jump on it but believe me it has nothing absolutely nothing to do with that absolutely nothing I'm like oh my lord are you serious right now she couldn't do anything she tried to fix it she said no I can't do anything she sent me over to her supervisor as I'm waiting there my call gets disconnected so I'm about to lose it I call again I explain my issue all over again she gets me a supervisor I'm talking to the supervisor the supervisor then tells me yes it's been delisted because we're there this department is doing a review for the uh, biological animal I'm like oh my lord so I said listen read it by then all the people that I had talked to had read the listing and said, yeah, this has nothing to do with, you know, what they're saying it is. He checked it and he said the same thing. He said, let me try to help you. And he did, or at least he made it sound like he did, but I believe that he did. It's like, this is beyond my control. Let me pass you on to somebody over in the FBA department. So I was passed over to them. Really nice guy try to help me everything was cool he's like I'm trying I'm trying it's not letting me all I can do is send uh, an escalation report and ask that they review your products quickly I was like I can't believe this and I said well if you can't fix it right now then I at least want my money back for these uh, for this month I should get it back for two months you know for my seller uh, support access for my account basically the 39.99 that you pay each month and my reasoning was listen if I'm renting a store from you and you come and you close down my door because we agreed that I would sell only white products and I am selling white products but hey you believe that they're yellow products so until you do your investigation if it's white or it's yellow which we all know it's white then my doors are closed but you still expect to get paid for the rent even though you are not allowing me to sell anything <sighs> so he brought it up to another manager 
then I have an American come on the line. If you get an American on the line when you call Amazon, you know you've reached the top of the food chain there for seller support, okay? The guy knew his stuff, he was really good, and basically he told me, I understand completely where you're coming from. I know what you're talking about. I agree with your reasoning, but there's a policy in Amazon that we do not refund your seller or uh, account fees unless there have been no sales or unless you are closing it. You've had very good sales for the first month. Your sales are starting off really good this month. I said, exactly. That means that during those seven days that I was cut of sales last time, and these probably six or seven days that I'm gonna be cut this time, I would have sold really good. So I am not making the money that I could make right now. Once again, he agreed that, yep, I understand where you're coming from. Unfortunately, Amazon does not refund seller fees. I felt like a loser. But he did say, I don't want to feel, I don't want you to feel like that. What we are doing is we are escalating this, this issue as far as we can and trying to get your product reviewed you know, faster. Because what happens is, I, I asked him, who's the genius who saw my product and said, hey, this looks like a biological uh, animal product. And he explained to me that as everything nowadays, it's an algorithm. An algorithm went through my listing and decided that it had something to do with a biologically animal product. Why? I don't know. The world may never know. But then it gets put into a queue to be reviewed by real people. So my product was delisted until somebody, a human being, could check it. What they did is they put it ahead of the queue, as he explained. And that was the only thing they could do. I even asked, okay, now my product is going to go all the way down in its position because I have done a lot, a lot, to get my product up to the first page. It was ranking on the first page, on number four, for the keyword that I was looking for. It was on the first page and I was getting really good sales. And now, I'm gonna drop like a rock. And he said, I wish I could help you, but that is also an algorithm. So, it is done by velocity of sales. Like, great, fantastic. I spent on the phone two hours, half an hour the first time and an hour and 31 minutes the second time, going from one person to the other. And I did not get anywhere. By that time, it was 2.30 in the morning. Thankfully, I got a response from the people I'm trying to develop the other product with. And I read that and that gave me some hope and I went to bed. This morning, I wake up, I already have two sales of my product. I was like, what? I check it and it's back online. Basically, they did what they said they would do and they did help me. So, all I have to say is, this is a business and you have to be ready to treat it like a business and go with the punches and try to make the best out of it. At the end of the day, these things will happen. It's not the last time that this will happen to me. I know that there are more times and I'm ready for it because that's just the cost of doing business. If you're gonna let this deter you from doing something, there will always be problems and if you let them stop them, then you don't want it, you know, bad enough. I fought and I think I won. My product is back up. I have sales going. I was very respectful with the people on, on the phone and 
even though I was upset, I didn't lose my cool. And I got at the end of what I wanted. My throat hurts and I wanted to show you a video about Alibaba today, but I think this was more important. So if you made it all the way to the end, uh, there was a comment on my second to last video that the music was too hard, uh, too loud for when I was explaining the product research. I thank you for that. That's the feedback that I need to hear. Uh, even though this one will probably still have music, uh, now when I do something on the computer, for that segment I will run no music because I understand that that's important for you guys to, to, to listen to. So to that person, I can't remember the name right now, but I will probably put them up here. You have just won a half hour call with me. Uh, contact me again. Uh, you can via the, the contacts over there on, on the comments or uh, email me, you know, check out my Facebook, whatever. Just contact me and uh, we can see how we can talk for about half an hour. I'll answer any of your questions that you have about product research or anything else. And thank you for that feedback. Please, if you're watching this, just leave me some feedback let's let's get a conversation started thank you so much for being here if you haven't already please subscribe this channel is just going to be getting better i'm going to have some people aboard i actually have an interview with a a really cool guy and i'm just saving it until i have some more people because i, I want to respect him and he deserves to be seen by a lot of people so um, i have that ready to go as soon as i have some more subscribers i'll do that I just want to show you my real Amazon journey. So guys, once again, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.